Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Oh no, excuse me, miss. Are we in trouble? No ma'am, everything is under control. This is flank 144. One engine is dead. Now, the other one's on fire. Why the big crowd? Some famous missionaries are flying to the States. The David sons are going to America to raise funds for another hospital. We'll be back soon. We all love you. We will be praying for you. These are your seats, Reverend. Wow. They're sitting next to me. Delighted to meet you, Ed. You've been in Africa for 50 years. Yes, and with God's help, we've built five schools and four hospitals, one just for lepers. Plus, we've fed and clothed thousands of dear natives. Tell us about yourself, Ed. I was a cook on a tanker until I killed a guy in a drunken brawl. I just got out of jail last week, that's where I got saved. The only guy I led to the Lord was my cellmate. That's nothing compared to what you've done. I can't imagine how many crowns you two will get in heaven. Well, we have spent our entire lives living the golden rule and doing good works for God. Good works are fine, but how many sinners have been saved through your ministry? It must be thousands, right? No, Ed, you don't understand. God called us to help these dear people lead better lives. You mean you don't tell them how to get saved? Rev. Davidson, are you sure that you and your wife are ready to meet the Lord? Attention, this is your captain. Please fasten your seatbelts and prepare for an emergency landing. The Bible says that good works can't save anyone. The only work that matters is what Jesus did for us on the cross. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Why don't you two give your hearts to Christ now? Just shut up, can't you see? We're going to crash. Where are we going? To your beautiful mansion in heaven. In my father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. It's time for judgment. Now, my dear, we'll be rewarded for all our good works. The David sons stand before God. I never knew you. Depart from me. Hold on a minute. You've made a horrible mistake. Lord, don't you know who we are? We sacrificed everything to serve people in your name. We suffered for 50 years in remote jungles of Africa, far from our home and family. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. We were good people. We did everything we could to help those poor people in need. There is none righteous, no, not one. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. Our good works far exceeded any bad we did. Don't our good works count for anything? No. I did all the work necessary for salvation when I died on the cross. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. Lord, we met many wonderful people of other religions who did good works in your name. What about all of them? In the Bible, I said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. 
This is horrifying. That means millions of people who are trusting in their good works are going to hell. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Yes, that's true. Here's why. Because of Adam and Eve's rebellion, sin entered the world. For many years, people sacrificed animals to temporarily cover their sins. Then, to take care of the sin problem, once and for all, I became man, and shed my precious blood, to wash away your sins. It is finished. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Three days later, I rose from the dead, and returned to heaven, to sit next to my Father. My precious gift, eternal life, was now available to all mankind. Those who place their trust in me, Jesus Christ, received this gift. Those who trust in their good works, are lost. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. If good works could save, do you think I'd have suffered, and died on the cross? I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. This isn't fair, we weren't told any of this. Yes, it's all in the Bible, but you rejected my word, and me. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Don't let this happen to you. Trust Jesus Christ right now. The Bible says, there's only one way to heaven. Jesus answered, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father, except through me. We are saved by grace through faith, and not by works. No amount of good works could ever get us there. Only a good God who sent his perfect Son, could get us to heaven, and that's by repentance and faith. There is no way that a good person, will ever make it to heaven, on his or her own, but only bad people forgiven, by a very good God. There is positively no other way to get there. Sadly, hell will be full of self-proclaimed good people, who brought their works and filthy rags to hell with them. May it never be so with you. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. This beautiful story is from Chick Publications. They have many good tracks that anybody can pass out on the streets, or leave them anywhere to be found and read. They have gospel tracks related for every religion and everyone. Witnessing made easy, with Chick. We will have a link to Chick tracks in the description area. You're only saved by grace through faith, by trusting in the gospel and by trusting in the blood of Jesus. The only way to know Jesus is to go all in with Jesus, and read his gospel, and repent of your sins. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. And what a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. And have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? For we should never be discouraged 
take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Well, Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer.